Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I am going to be trying out two new sunscreens from Clinique and a new lip product from Pat McGrath. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, and let's do this. First thing first, I am going to apply my vitamin C and it is from SkinCeuticals. This is their CE Ferulic. So vitamin C's are antioxidants. They help to scavenger all the free radicals that your skins encounter during the day. And it also helps with hyperpigmentation. It also helps with collagen production. I chose this product because it has l super acid and it's stabilized by vitamin E and vitamin C. And also it has a pH drain that has a lot of data to back up its efficacy from SkinCeuticals. Now I'm going to go in with my CeraVe moisturizer. You pick the time, I'll pick the So first I have the Clinique Prep Start. It is SPF 50. It has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in here. Um, it doesn't have any tint or any um, water resistant properties. So let's open this guy up. So supposedly you use this under foundation. So this bottle is very, very tiny. So second I have the Clinique SPF 50. This is called Mineral Sunscreen Fluid for Face sensitive skin formula it also has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide and you may ask what is the difference let's open this bottle up this is how the two bottle looks like this side by side the ingredients for the two products are identical so I'm going to apply the prep start on my right side and the other sunscreen on my left side to see Okay, now I'm going in with the other sunscreen on my left side. So this is the difference. This one doesn't have any tint. It feels very smooth, very liquidy. Kind of feel like my Shiseido sunscreen here. So right off the bat, that looks very, very greasy on my skin. So this side has a more of a white cast than this side. I'm going to add a little bit of foundation on my skin to really test out the product because it feels like something that can be underneath my foundation. Moving on to the lip shine here. This is in the color New Venice. This is how the bottle looks like. This bottle is very cute. Okay, on my lips, I already have my Bite Beauty chapstick. I'm gonna go write a million songs if that's the way to be. Hour to class to beat them all and go down in history. I'll be the one to reach the stars, but only if you're with me tonight. Cause that'll be. Okay, I really like that lip shine. So I'm going to wear these products for the rest of the day to see how they perform. This is how my skin looks like in real daylight. It is so shiny. It has been 8 hours and I started using the Clinique sunscreens and the Pan McGrath lip shine. And this is how my skin and my lips look like. So I do not like these sunscreens at all. It was very hard to blend this morning and it was very oily and now my skin is so patchy and dry and I have some acne coming on 
Let's talk about this sunscreen first. This one doesn't have any tint. So when I first apply on my face, the consistency feels very similar to my Shiseido sunscreen here. And when I blend it out, it is very thin and it has that white cast on your skin. It feels like the sunscreen just sits on my skin. It doesn't want to get absorbed into my skin. And it's just so greasy on my face. Versus my Shiseido sunscreen here. Now when I apply this on my skin, it is a matte finish and it absorbs into my skin really fast. It's not a good product for me because it's very oily and plus I don't think it's a good product because it just sits on top of your skin. So I'm not going to be using this product. Now moving on to this sunscreen here. It has a little bit of a tint. It has the same problem as the other sunscreen. When I apply on my skin, it just kind of sit on top of my skin. It's very oily and it has pills. Initially, the consistency of this sunscreen reminded me of my SkinCeutical sunscreen here. Uh, this one has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And the texture is very similar, it's very liquidy. But the tint of the SkinCeutical looks a lot better and it just blended into your skin seamlessly. Both of the Clinique sunscreens do not come even close to my Cerave sunscreen here. This sunscreen makes your face look so beautiful. It looks like you're wearing foundation. It is a little bit oily but nevertheless it blends really well on application and the tint is so pretty. Um, so I love this sunscreen and it's a lot cheaper than the Clinique sunscreen. Also in comparison to my Australian Gold sunscreen here, these don't even come close to it. Just because this sunscreen is beautiful, it is SPF 50 and it also water resistant for 80 minutes. These sunscreen here do not worth your money. I would spend it on the CeraVe or the Australian Gold sunscreen here. These are awesome and they are a lot cheaper than the Clinique sunscreens. Moving on to the Panagrad Lip Shine here. This lip shines remind me of my Chanel lipstick. Um, it has a little bit of glitters on it and just a little bit of a color on it. When I apply this product on my lips, somehow I feel a little bit tingling on my lips. So I don't like this product. I just don't have room for this in my lips routine. In the morning, I like to use a lip balm with some SPF. So this has been my to go SPF for the summer. Uh, and then during nighttime when I go out, I like to use a little bit of a lip balm. And this is my to-go lip balm here. This is the Ilia lip balm. It has a little bit of a color and this is enough for me. And if I want a little bit more colors on my lips, I will use my Westman Atelier lip product here. These colors are beautiful. They stain my lips really well and I can go out on a dinner and I don't have to worry about reapplying the products because the product will kind of stain my lips. So I really love using this palette for nighttime. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye.